In this video, we're going to talk about something called bulk transport. This process describes how cells take in material into and out of their compartments. So the first example that we're going to go over is something called endocytosis. Endocytosis is the process by which cells take in material. Endo means internal or within. One example of endocytosis is phagocytosis. So this is when a cell takes in solid food. It could even be an organism such as a bacteria. So phago means to eat or devour. So let me give you a visual illustration of that. So let's say this is a cell, and it's about to take in a large food particle. Let's use a different color to illustrate that. And so the cell is going to bend around it and engulf it. And then it's going to look like this. So here's the cell with its normal shape. Here's the food particle inside, and it's going to be surrounded by another membrane of phospholipids. So that's a, a visual example of phagocytosis. That's when a cell consumes large food particles or even organisms such as bacteria. Now, another example of endocytosis is something called pinocytosis. The prefix pino means to drink. So this is where a cell takes in fluid that contains solute particles and nutrients. So here's a visual example of that. So once again, we have a cell that is about to engulf something. So it's taken in fluid, but dissolved in the fluid, you have nutrients and solute particles. And then once it takes it in, you're going to have something that looks like this. So those food particles will be engulfed in a membrane known as a vesicle. So that's an example of pinocytosis. Another type of endocytosis is something called receptor-mediated endocytosis. So in this type of cytosis, or rather in this type of endocytosis, the cell has receptors that attaches to specific molecules. These are molecules with the right shape that can fit into the hook of the receptor. So let me show you a picture of that. Because a picture is worth a thousand words, as they say. So these would be the receptors that wants to attach to these solute particles, which I'm going to use a different color. When these solute particles are attached to the receptors, the cell membrane is going to close around it, taking in these particles into the cell. Now, there's one more type of bulk transport that you need to be familiar with, and it is the opposite of endocytosis. So this one is called exocytosis. The prefix exo means outside or external. So in the case of exocytosis, the cell exports material outside of it. So that's how it gets stuff out. Endocytosis is the process by which cells take in material. So here's a picture of a cell, and here we have a vesicle inside of it with some particles. That vesicle is going to move to the membrane of the cell. As it does so, the vesicles, that is this part that is surrounded those red dots, is going to become part of the cellular membrane, thus opening the membrane like this. 
and that's going to release those particles to the extracellular fluid outside of the cell. So that's an example of exocytosis. That's how cells get rid of stuff. So that's it for this video. Now you know the difference between endocytosis and exocytosis. Thanks again for watching.